sorry about that. I'm back. Back in here. <laughs> the Emperor's new clothes, slightly happy. Questioning allegiances, physically a okay. The converted or normal light. Oh, <laughs> there she is. No, now leave me alone. Is the back door open? Is everyone just walks through? Yeah. be back. Was that, was that good enough? Did I play it right? That I don't know her and all that? I know nothing? I know nothing of this? I think I played it correctly, I would say.
they go through the back door. She forgot she doesn't know about that place yet. Zips his pants. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Went to set through the front door. I'm sorry, but... All the way. Where is Infers? Five many copy this time. Nah, you go and see. Where is your master? Master? My boss is right behind you. You will answer now or I will not hesitate in destroying this pathetic kind of magic you are. Leave me alone, Drakthir.
threw her hand forwards or aiming towards him for seeking to dispel the illusion surrounding their true form. Due to the magic not being of the same signature, it would definitely work. You're making this hardest indeed, Domirakra, she, she, she said as she staggered backwards from the chromatic bolts and shielding aiming at her, seeking to use her large axe as a shield. Takes a step through the shadow, ending up behind Emperor's clone, where he swings his katana, hard aiming at her midsection. <laughs> Gets sent flying the fuck back, but the fire is sucked up by, the, by her enchants. This will be your end, Calderai. 
is sent sliding backwards, her armor protecting her most of the body with the axe covering her face. Eyes narrows and she lets out an angry cry and calls out from the ground a spike of fire to try hit Empress. I wanted one fucking day without drama. Ollie's Chimer? I don't think I have that. No, I don't have that, dude. Sorry. Charma got attacked. Jumps on the roof, attempt to swiftly land on Charma, seeking to ground him as she jumps on him. Feels the adrenaline rush to her head as she jumps back to avoid Ellie's attack as she flies through the air. He sends a throwing knife towards her before her feet even touches the ground.
The blue shimmery line of blue light, which could be understood as arcane, ran through the streets of Stormwind all the way to the gates. Peered off in the distance, trying to spot if the light repair appears on the walkways of Karazhan, or if it goes straight down. Totally open the door and close it after they were both inside. Right, seeing as she's still inside, even though they had a nice conversation earlier, rather a monologue from his side, he was curious if reverse psychology worked and Empress is gonna be a good girl.
still there. Would you look at that? Hearing some ruckus nearby, I would look at the door and then they were crawling under his nose, expecting visitors. My voice. How? Oh, here we go. Again, your plan thwarted. Just give me a fucking break. <laughs> advise against entering. Hand over the child and this can all be ended without without a blood spill. Pride pulls out the sword momentarily from his cupboard, looking down at the Empress and lifts it up, taking a swing. I'm sick of waiting and sparing your life as she does. Feel the magic could be felt around the house if there was a clear warning to everyone who was perceptive to feel that such magic. Takes, takes us out of here right here. Within this sword lifted in the air, looks as her ready to strike him for any moment now. Or we'll kill her now, being done with it. Your trap work that I'm not going to fight the lost cause.
Go on the restriction of his aura and let himself a clone of necrotic decay energy as he does the wound around his hand where he is touching the door decay as rapid face that has come to your house. Open up. glances momentarily towards the decaying door before turning her focus back to the curtain. Yes, a warning of sword, it's weakening us, which is why we need to be quick and decisive. Do you really fucking believe you'll manage to get through here before I got you? Before I plunge this sword into your head? They don't give a shit about your life. Tick-tock, time is ticking, woman. Domi, open the door! <laughs> What's my name, right? I mean, I've never introduced myself. Once they're normally inside, you appear to dispose of her immediately.
at this regarding the woman's horror and pleads for mercy and John's calling name calling because it wasn't John which pissed him off even more when he was called that he squeezed the hilt of his sword feeling his anger rising finally able to go let go of the brakes and kill someone Extended both her arms, eyeing the decaying door, which now appeared to be almost gone, spelling the word, its feeling dissipating. She then yelled out, "The Normie may enter, otherwise Empress will perish." Ali would charge the door with all her might. If she comes through, the door would rapidly turn into her villain form, launching and then ever in front of her, trying to get into into a neck hold. <laughs> With that trip, Empress will grab power, hopefully making the plot towards him at great speed to avoid the attack and save her life. Give a wild thought this people left her li uh, line of sight, they signed to put her grab onto her as she jumped from the nearby rock and her not with that take him again, she just watching as she tried to spot the goings on inside house while being at safe distance herself. Pride went out of corner of his eye, he noticed that his opponents had managed to get inside like an executioner grasping his sword with both hands, he pushed downwards with a great force using all his strength and driving the blade of the sword into her cage which made her not only being stabbed, but at the same time her cage would begin to collapse from the acceleration, making her body rot at an alarming rate. Wasn't that group Sally as she was in a cage? Cat out wells. He dead anyways. So the shady lady needs a new bartender. Everyone want the job. <laughs> want to do a roll to see what happens first. I can be a good bartender. <laughs> God.
take you take the young one child this is not fair felt that his job were finished when he noticed how the body and almost of an almost dead woman of already dead or already really dead was pulled out of under the blade and taken away so string to attack whatever was in her way would swiftly sidestep I the pouncing cat allowing them to land on the stone floor her gaze turned towards Karamanga as he sought to death grip Empress his staff waving at him seeking to expel a third of black glimmering sand towards them to push them backwards if they had death gripped Empress while grinning <laughs> turns around hissing trying to listen for a new prey I'll kill you. <laughs> Charge toward the miracles. <laughs> Shady lady needs a new bartender. Poor Empress. <laughs> Arch towards the Mirakrats. Pride seeing some cat then ran into the room, which was surprisingly large. He assumed that the cat was either fed special food with steroids or was a druid. So without waiting long, he swung his sword at her, feeling the pressure building up and the number of opponents inside. <laughs> <laughs> Rolls fifty. Turns attention towards Pride, waving her stop, a shimmering black sand portal appeared behind him after she had swung his blade at the cat. Run, run now, I will deal with these interlopers. Tackle onto the floor. Eyes shine upon a bright blood red color, his rage being felt through the air. As the air he gathers a large amount of Necrotic energy in his palm as he's flying a barrage on three death coils towards the worgen. <laughs> would not dodge the blade, feeling and hearing it common for a beast without eyes. She would could be agile while it hit heat of the battle. She snarls and goes for wherever the blade came from, trying to sink her teeth into the flesh. <laughs> My emote said hello. My bad. Hold on to that then. I'm going to die here now. I don't anymore. She said with her axe held up high seeking to swing her at the Miracras. Prepares a small feast. <laughs> Rolls 97. Oh, that's a good roll, dude.
Rolls 82. Hopping down alias would fire from her GG fanatic little launcher, a vial of web honey towards Pride before tossing her weapon to the side attempting to get towards him first. Pulling a vial of healing honey, she then corked the mess and attempt to pour it into the wound. It was a long shot, but it was clear she had a plan that might save the woman with a bit of luck. Healing honey, web honey. Web honey towards pride. <laughs> Defensive, non-lethal. A thick globular yellow substance to fall out of the brim, it seemed leaving the empty space inside. When shattered and exposed to open air, this wireless creates a thick golden foam that expands rapidly, locking down people and objects that get caught in the expansion. Launcher. GG pneumatic vial launcher. Disclaimer, accuracy not actually guaranteed. <laughs> What is healing honey? A vial filled with golden, slightly watery substance that gives a, of a faint glow. Applying it to an external wound will close it and numb the pain slightly. Extremely effective at repairing flesh wounds or internal wounds if drunken. Warning, cannot be repaired broken bones. Roll 80, that's a pretty good roll. Pride evade both of the attacks, both from the elves and you're looking at the mirror, the mirror last time. You better not fucking die here, Rotir. I'll rescue you if I have to, damn you. You're useful. Just next time, don't show so much mercy. He would leap backwards towards the portal, which was waiting for his arrival long enough already. And she she be closed after his departure. Waved her staff, pushing the enormity backwards whilst trying to get herself up. Looks at what Alice is doing, nodding and lifts up inference over his shoulder. Alishara, we're leaving. Follow and die. He's gonna raise me as a death knight or some shit. <laughs> Changes into her owl form. 
sends a massive howling blast freezing up the op open door with a thick layer of ice blocking it from the outside. <laughs> That's pretty nice. <laughs> Take us out of here, Lashara. We'll try to grab inferences, fly off with her. Well, she was one to hear the temporal nature attack being raised into such seeing the building back at last. We'll dive into the area, pick up the GG friendly launcher. She avoided the attack, only load with honey acid and attempt to blast them across us in the back, aiming for her wings. She's blind. <laughs> Your dream powers could be useful here. If not mine, will be will be when you fall, when you fail. Why do you think I took her to the grove? Man of culture. <laughs> Hands glow up, wines growing from them as well, and though the human as the old grids began to try to heal the human as long as there was a will to love, all his powers and help to the grove should manage to save her. Come on, little flimsy thing, the Shadowlands are quite dull.
you know, when you and work together is really in the combination of life and death. The child means a lot to the boy. Let's turn her in good health. Is she the boy's mate or something? No, he has another. She was with a human, right? Honey tap to Ali spray. They need to heal. That song on the stream is so good right now. It is, yeah. It's pretty nice. The little one stay out of trouble. I was worried I would have to return her the boy with blue glowing eyes. I will not save you another time. We won't. Sorry about that, guys. Quick DC. I'll log you back in, as usual. Because it's like my internet is acting out, acting out as, as always. Can't do anything about it. Yes, taps to the heart hurts. Would have guessed.
girl, we pulled you out there as soon as we could. We were a mere inch away from death. Not for Alishara here, you would have been like me now. <laughs> Crown's hearing the crying, she hates that sound. I think I should check on the one with the child, but I thank you for your assistance. It's always feels safe working with you in that ma <laughs> any matter. Mm. Are they still there? They look like to be there. Wait, I can uh, enable my th this thing now, right? Wait, can I scan? No, I can't scan. Wait, let me enable it. It was settings, register settings, uh, enable character location. There we go. Okay. I'll bring her home, don't worry. I'll check on the boy's mate. I heard she was distressed. <laughs> Do so. Changes into her all form and takes a flight. Beware of trees. <laughs> Lifted up by Solomon is with him on the mountain door. It's a broken door now. The fuck. Yeah, door broke it. Dora broke it. <laughs> okay. If Fred broke her mind, I bet she could be really depressed for a few days. Ever seen Outlander? Gotcha. Knocks on the bedroom door, but as no answers is heard, he opens and lock looks inside. He 
no one home. Still Dragon Ball, gently lays Empress down on the bed. Still over 9,000. <laughs> no matter what the ball it is, gunshot. Sleep now, child. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Karma is coming now. Oh, very nice. <laughs> very nice, dude. <laughs> Not that Solomon on his way in. Looks like Empress won't be so adventurous anymore. Like, at all. <laughs> no more messing with Drick Tears and all that. I guess how much effective were Pride's monologue towards Empress done by Discord chat. Puts his katana next to the bed. Katana? It's good. Looks at you. <laughs> Poor Ampers. Link is quick from the top of the canopy of the bed and looks at the two. Tomorrow, Empress wakes up at the working time, he's being found by Charma and all that, and then, and then we start explaining, I guess. To think I was even fooled for a second. Just just a blink to come lay on his lap.
Does he sleep this night? He remains in his room watching Infers and petting Blinky, feeling a bit safe in the fact he can feel Solomon's destructive energy from the bottom floor. Fine, mate. It's just I go up at 6:45, so I can't do many th nights in a row. Understandable. It's blinky. Think Andrew will kill me? <laughs> okay, then this is it. Blinky shakes his head, trying to re rely on feeling of love. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Going to bite bacon. Never came back. Oh, there are normies here. <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> no. There is a normie down. Do you know what members there are whereabouts? Tells the normie no, not going to happen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Holy crap. You are not allowed in here. We're going to take that as a yes. Refuse to enter, banned from this bar. Banned from the bar. Listen, what was the commotion outside? If I never see you again, it's still this too, too soon. Hmm. Where are you on the map? Can you show us the tavern? Uh, if you promise me you will not come and like sp spill blatant bullshit and disrupt the DRP, then I can show you if you promise that. I promise. I don't, don't. I don't really believe you, Moku. I know you also have a retail account. To be a good boy, <laughs> sure, sure. I'm also going to have to take that as I will enter. If you try to enter, I will get the guards and get you thrown in jail for trespassing. I'm serious. We're done with you. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> Approach Charma, placing a hand on his arm, sending him into a temporary arcane paralysis. <laughs> Shit, dude. It's doing, she's doing it again. <laughs> she's doing it again. No. No. 
way too much OP bullshit happening again. Peeks out her hat, would see his this and puts her hand on the door and puts an arcane barrier runs. You've been carving out the last days, no one enters. Would not be touched the moment the race her hand, he steps back and pulls his blades. <laughs> pulls the blades. Gaudy motors, here we go. Once again. <laughs> Damn. Unlucky. When you do an attacking mode, try to attempt to try to. So it's not God Emoting of the highest level, and it will be ignored. <laughs> Charma spitting out the truth, dude. <laughs> Charma coming in with the emotes. Very nice. I'm so sick of this. One day, just one day. That's where this is putting me off, RP. Hose mad through that ace. Guards would have slew her a long time ago. Mm, yeah. Perhaps, perhaps. This is a hand on arcane barrier, looking up and down. Really, you think this can actually keep you from entering? Same goes for Scar, knowing fake in versus fake. In first on first day, when explicitly described, she can be identified as fake. <laughs> now Thor and Orby coming in as well. <laughs> Kill it since you're role playing, shouldn't you talk in a woman voice? Uh, sadly, I cannot do that. I'm afraid uh, I'm not capable of imitating that woman, dude. Alright, I guess I'll stay away from the tavern tonight. No! Of 
course you can, you have to practice. Do I really? Ugh. Do I really? It is stated you may not enter. It's one place, it's out place to leave. I am a woker, I'm older, I came to my will. And you abandoned him first while I went to get her. If she's here, I'm going to talk to her. She said as she continued stroking the barrier, her expression clearly the one of the annoyance. Don't make me tear this down, seriously. <laughs> This <laughs> seriously just turned into a mount of bitching that is just guaranteed to cause us schism. <laughs> Always. Abandoned. She was brought here and she was kidnapped by you. and try and protect me with all his heart. I guess this will be the time Empress will really have to decide who to roll with and lose the other person. Mm. Empress, they want to see Dora this time. You heard her. Poor inverse. Do you see how you've broken that girl? Why do you keep tormenting her? Your pride is here. What the fuck? Hooded cloak humanoid. It seems you're still not willing to do more than just yap, yap, yap. She clenched her fist. You glowing with a flu punched the barrier with a uh, loud thud to crack it. Empress, I heard that. Why are you saying that? I went there to rescue you. I don't want to kill you. You're my friend.
friend ever since she met you. This, this has been going on. Steps outside a barrier, pointing his words at Dormanormi's throat. <laughs> Damn. Who the cloak human would circle like an eagle over a rabbit looking or out over the field until finally he glided down and approached the door, listening to the conversation. When he heard Empress' name spoken again, he was already sure something was wrong here. You brought this on her, and you keep doing so. Did you end your other self last night? Is she safe? Is she safe now? If not, then go out there and hunt her down. But here you will never be allowed again. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. They just want to finish me off. Here you will never be allowed again. We we'll lean against the wall as if nothing bad happened, with his hand in his pockets, holding something that ready to listen to the conversation going on nearby. <laughs> Moku raid? <laughs> the hell is a Moku raid, dude? Let's go. What? Moku raid. You guys. Invading my stream and all that. Shamelessly plugged. Oh no. Can you like go away? Like I don't wanna be disturbed by uh, by you, whoever is inviting me. Probably Moku or someone. Please just just go away. Guys, if you do this, like, uh, I'm not gonna raid with you guys again. Like, I don't care. Like, fuck you guys. I'm not disturbing your shit when you're, when you're doing something, so just leave me be, dude. Like, why would you guys do this? It's not fun at all. Thor normally swiftly reached behind her back, retrieving a handful of hand be behind her pouch, throwing it in front of the, her upwards, forming his, her axe on her grip, covering her figure to impede the spear and the sword from reaching her while she waved her free hand behind her back, clenching her fist, forming a blue glow around it, ready to punch, to punch once more as she walked forward, seeking to wedge herself between Charma and Rianda. Your power cannot match the might of Drakthir.
She's really asking for a diplomatic issue. Ah, oh, please, dude. Like, no. I, I'm seriously considering to like just uh, drop the whole rampage thing and just uh, retire like from there, because if you guys will keep doing this, like I don't really want to be a part of it anymore. Like, come on, like I know you want to have fun and all that, but like I don't disturb your fucking streams, dude, or anything like that. As the berry cracks, she formed is the spear aiming towards the head. She, she said she avoided a sword and spear, but did did she? But she did. But she attacked back or just positioned herself. I ah, didn't see that. Okay. Come oh, on, she tries to merge herself between us. <laughs> Can I use the hand grenades and try to put them in uh, between her horns? Lamau. <laughs> Pretty nice. Where the dive the Mind Zippers was given? At Auntie's cottage. <laughs> Guess it will only be true over someone kills him first for real. Goes into a sob in the back and yell out the door. No, please just leave. Look what you're doing to my friends, to all of us. If I change my mind, I will talk to you, okay? If you leave now, I will talk to you when I'm ready. We'll blink herself to safety into the bar again. Who did a cloak human hearing only the name called out? He thought it would, it would have meant something else, but now seeing. Her in all her glory, he was sure it was her. Empress survived.
They just want to finish me off and kill my character, dude. No! Poor Empress. Guess it will only be truly over if someone kills Empress for real, seeing that Dora just won't play that she dies anyway. around with a great speed spinning his own body and he keeps moving the blade after Dora to get slicey naming for her throat and hidden wrist blade falls out from the arm of his shirt which he also will move towards the joint in her armor. a steep close to him for Sheila right. Yes. Smile under his breath, hearing and seeing what kind of hustle and bustle was going on right next to him. So he decided to check something on occasion and leaned out asking if nothing ever happened. Hey, is it open? <laughs> they really want to finish me off, dude. Unless Dora wants to help me against uh, John or something, then yeah. But Austin they tried to hug him for tears in her eyes. She draws a dagger out of her sleeve and and pulls it to Empress throat. Oh shit, dude! Oh my god! She to hug Empress tears in her eyes, she draws a dagger out of her sleeve and pulls it to Empress throat. my life you're putting all I love in danger kill me then just kill me right here right now stops with emotion and looks at Adrian and Empress completely ignoring Dora <laughs> Adri <laughs> don't
wanted to move on inside, but seeing what the fuck is happening, just decided to, decide to lean on the wall with his right elbow and observe the clown fiesta inside, clearly amused. Though his hood was hiding his face very well, left hand was in his pocket. <laughs> Let it be finished! Just like uh, Grom said. Clearly not made for this, her hand shaking. Would you hate me for it? <laughs> Trauma takes a step forward, then dropping his weapon on the floor. John and Empress and the dagger. No, you're with the miracles, aren't you? <laughs> what? <laughs> the Romeo turned his attention towards her flying friends. They abandoned you when I asked you for the aid. I, me, they are normally one to save you. Why is everyone being so crippled? She interrupted by Charma's wounds using her, her axe spirit his initial strike, her visage being stabbed by the witch's wrist blade, although whilst so taking the advantage of the stab, she raises her axe, abandoning her visage to pin him on the side of the wall. When the axe heads towards his throat before turning her attention towards Andrianda and Empress and the dagger. No. No. Would you hate me? You're with the miraculous, aren't you? Would you hate me? <laughs> With a cloak, Humano decided it's time for the showdown. It won't be a better occasion. Drops one of the petals from the staff on the ground, looking around and waiting to see what happens. Adrian, I love you, but you won't be you if you do that. They both said they'd begin to cry as well. She she could she she could out of this. She's she not cut out of this. Flake of Trichodromus horn cast the following effect open a timeway for up to the 100 yards in space and 30 minutes in time, allowing the user's escape, user to escape. Huh? A dagger and steps back, looks at Rianda and then to Empress. He slowly bend down to pick his sword. Charges towards him for trying to tackle her to the ground while Stever is distracted, abandoned her visage, unfurling her wings around them both. There's the gate that opens. Quincy's eyes a bit surprised aside instead of going in though to take off the vial that was made to put him back to sleep. Opens 
in for the first time and approach her normally from the back trying to pour the contents into her mouth. Just a few drops would be enough to lure her sleep for hours and she's li unlikely to expect it. There should be a good chance of her pouring anything into it. What an holy f***ing fuck is happening here? Oi! Yes! Perhaps your guard friend can come. See what I'm talking about? They're not your friends. All these people need lock up. It apparently not charged into the hooded cloak even it swiftly to throw a liquid into her mouth. Likely she was talking, being pulled to sleep on the spot. With a cloak minute in slightly modular voice, he hoarse, you're welcome. As he grabbed her tear frail body as she began to slump to the ground after drinking the contents of the ball that would have put an adult healthy horse to the ground, then he would grab her with all his strength and crawl into the gateway open nearby. What's the situation? I received reports of the fight unfolding.
What in the... Do not go through that portal. Adriana's adrenaline fades and she looks pale. Attempting to attack our stuff. Shambles to the other door and throws up. Kneels before Charma. Throws up, dude. Poor Agni. <coughs> Sorry about that. Just a quick sneeze and all that. I fuse. How's it going, fuse? Getting level boosted for 1 euro right now, from 60 to 70, chilling right now. When does the end boss come in your RP scenario? What end boss, dude? Thank you. 
surprise him against the cry. All will be fine, one way or another. Really fat tempers back. <laughs> Very nice indeed. Takes a step in and hugs them both with his long arms. There enough sobbing. There is a new chance, a new life, a new day tomorrow. <laughs> a new day tomorrow, eh? Good night.